Hey guys, and what's going on? Tyraku here. I hope you're all doing great. And if you pulled some ancient shards, I hope you had the best luck and I hope you got exactly what you want. And I'm hoping that in this shard pull session that I get exactly what I was hoping for as well. So today I'm going to be pulling 102 shards. Now, before we get into this, I'm going to be pulling, hopefully, until I get everything for the champion chase event. Now, I was really hoping it was going to be a summon rush event. Now, summon rushes basically you don't get anything if you summon it from the portal as in like the champion chase if you go into your fusion your fragment summons um even from the market you get points for getting those champions whereas for the summon events you only get points if you actually open up a shard so you get points per shard versus points for opening champions that are popping out of the portal that's what i meant by you don't get points for anything that comes out of the portal so if you've been saving up your yoshi fusion if you've been saving up any of these other fusions awesome now is the time to go ahead and go in there and claim them if you had some of these done perfect i'm hoping that during this shard pool session that i get some of these champions i mean I, hopefully some of you got these as well because i know a lot of you may have logged in today and notice the champion training event is very interesting to say the least I mean, 7,300 points. Let me know, guys. Well, actually, 12,750. Let me know. If you're free to play, if you're a low spender, are you able to top this out? Are you able to get these 12,750 points to actually get this guy down here? Which I, I don't even know his name, to be honest. He's just got a an interesting face. But either way, good luck, guys. If you are able to get that done, good luck. I mean, how many days is this? It goes for six days and 22 hours. I mean, we almost have a week. There's almost a week to do that. I feel like this is pretty reasonable, even as a free-to-play player. Um, but I don't know. Let me let me know, guys. Let me know what you think about this. 12,750 points doesn't seem like the best. I wish it was lower, but it doesn't seem absolutely insane. And this is a lot of fragments as well. So this is the main event that you need to work on and make sure you finish. And I mean, you're always training your champions anyway. So hopefully during this video, we get a champion who we can train up and can go towards this event. So there's a few legendaries that I'm looking for. First off, let's go into my vault, show you guys what I'm working with, and I'll let you know what I'm kind of hoping for. So these are my champions and what I have. All of, this down, all of this down here is food. Got a lot of food saved up for that. Um, hopefully future champion training event where there's going to be a legendary, hopefully as a reward. This is all just um, high hopes for me. But I'm not going to have a repeat of the Sardinic event where I got Jingle Hunter. So we got a bunch of five-star level one foods. These are my champions. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a Valkyrie, looking for a Kandrophon, looking for a Trunda, the Incredible, looking for a Foley. I'm not going to go through all these champions and say who I want because there's a lot of legendaries that I can use. I'll click through here real quick just so you guys can see what I'm missing. If you want to stop anything specifically, that's fine. But as you can see, as far as legendaries go, I got quite a few I could use. Valkyrie, Trunda, Foley, Androphon are kind of the main ones that I would like. Um, a lot of other ones that I could use, a lot of other ones that would be great for me. But as far as like the top ones go, those are what I'm looking for. Now, I'm not looking for no Tila. I'm not looking for no whatever, um, Grohawk the Bloodied. Not looking for anything like that. Um, I would like to have a Vogoth as well, an epic champion. So Vogoth, another Seeker. There's a lot of champ. A Rodos would be incredible. There's a lot of champions in general that would be very solid for my account. I mean, I'm missing a lot of affinity legendaries. So we got a hundred, a little over 100 shards to pull. Mountain King would be super awesome. Molly would be amazing. So yeah, any dwarf legendary I pull would be amazing. I'd say this chick, but she's void. If I popped her out of an ancient shard, hey, I wouldn't be complaining. That'd be some luck right there. So let's go ahead and jump in here, guys, and start pulling some of these shards. So we got 102 shards. I'm going to move my webcam over a little bit. Somebody mentioned that previous video. Just so you guys can see the shard numbers. Let's go into channel 69. Uh, actually, let's do 96 today. I think 96 is where we're going to get the luck. And hopefully people are pulling something good in here. But let's get in here. 102 shards. Let's see what we have going today first shard pool let's see a lego that would be absolutely amazing it's not going to happen though but we do have the 2x event going on right now let me make sure i can't imagine it's not okay yeah one percent chance <laughs> let's go ahead and get our one percent chance luck now claude i already have him built up he's a little 60 i'm going to actually work on him later on down the road but yeah i like him i think i like him i don't know i haven't used him a lot but he has some potential so we're 20 shard pulls in now if something happens and we don't get a legendary here I do have some sacred shards, so I can pull some stops out and see what we can do about those sacred shards. Now, we're not going to be able to see the shard pulls here, I guess, because we don't ever go back to that screen to actually see how many shards I have left. 
unless I back out right here. So we got Basilisks. We have 62 shards left. All right. So getting a few epics. Pulp Brawler, not what we're looking for. Catacomb, not what I'm looking for. The rares are cool, but we don't really need them anything specifically. I didn't notice if I got any of the uh, fusion champions or not. So, all right, that's cool. We got, oh, hey, we got the Seeker that I was looking for. So I did get a duplicate Seeker. Uh, maybe I'll use him for Clan Boss, which is pretty cool. I'll definitely likely, I'll, I'll likely build him up. Um, nothing wrong with having two Seekers, one for Clan Boss, one for the Arena, or any other areas of the game. We can't, oh, you can skip it. Oh, no, we're at 32 shards left. Now, my Mercy system is 100% fresh right now. So I don't necessarily expect anything because, like I said, it's fresh, super fresh. Like, I literally pulled the Legendary from the two the double Legendary event, and then I didn't pull any other Ancient Shards after that. Now, I do want to have a Legendary in this video. Hey, Tyrell's a unique champion for me. That's awesome. Skull Crusher duplicate. So this is really good because my High Elves were actually missing a good decreased defense champion and it was causing their runs on Faction Wars to be significantly slower. So that's actually really good. Let me go in here and clear up some space and I'll be right back. Hey guys, we're back in here now for the last 12 shards. And let's see what we have. I should have pulled singles and then I did the tin pull, but hey, let's not worry about the tin foil hat methods. Hey, we got a stag knight. <laughs> if we didn't already have him, that'd be amazing. Come on, let's see some lightning, 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 lightning. Okay, so we got nothing at all that I was hoping for so far. Well, we got a Seeker and a Tyrell. So Epic's definitely not bad, actually. Now, unfortunately, what this means is that I'm probably going to have to pull some Sacred Shards, you know? I can't leave this with no gold. I don't think I can. I mean, look, let's look at the Champion Chase event. Let's see where I'm at when it comes to this. Did I, did I top it out? Okay, so I dig it all this. All right, so we're right there with the books, you know? I got to do it. Let's go in here and do it, guys. Two sacred shards. I can pull. Let's pull till. Well, I'd say pull till legendary, but that may be a little while. So we'll pull one more sacred, and maybe get something good. Maybe. Let's cross our fingers. Hope for something good. Oh, and nothing. Oh, and what is this? Missionary. Missionary from. Okay, so we got some very interesting shards here. Let's pull. Um. Pull two voids. This is bad. This is where things start to go downhill, guys. I, I'm tempted to pull more, but I think all that's going to do is just run me into a spot where I have no shards left at all, and I really want to save these for either a 10x or for a 2x for sacred shards. So that is how the cookie crumbles, I guess. That is the luck that we had today, guys. Keep that in mind when you're pulling your shards. You could have 100 plus shards, and you could end up having pretty unfortunate luck. So that's kind of what I've ended up today. Not great luck. Got a few epics that I'm going to work on. I got Tyrell. I got a Seeker. So I kind of did get what I wanted. But as far as legendaries, I didn't get them. I mean, to get a legendary from Ancient Shards, you got to expect to pull about 220 shards anyways. I mean, at 220, you get a guaranteed legendary. Anything less than that, it's all up for just luck. And having just pulled a legendary, so I was literally like three champions into my Mercy system anyways. So I think I'm probably at 100 and whatever whatever I had plus about three. So probably like 113. I don't remember what I had exactly, but very, very fresh my mercy system. So keep that in mind, guys. Sometimes your ancient shard pools are amazing. Sometimes they're not so good. Now, I will be doing shard pools on stream tonight at 11 p.m. Eastern time to about 3 a.m. Eastern time, twitch.tv forward slash Tairaku. If you guys want to come by there, either have me pull your shards for you or just hang out. Definitely feel free to. Hopefully the shard pool luck there is better tonight. This guy seemed to have gotten the exact legendary that I wanted. So we're going to stop there. No more shards. Oh, but should I? Should I? Should I? Oh, it's tempting, guys. It's tempting. He just got a Valkyrie. That means I'm going to get... Oh, crap. I can't do this now. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of one champion. I, I got to do it. Got to pull the one shard. Like I said, this is where, this is where things start to, uh, you know not good when you're chasing that one extra champion and you're just holding out hope that you're going to get a legendary pulling the one more sacred this is not good i don't recommend doing this but he just got a valkyrie and that means i'm probably going to get an epic champion that i don't really want 
And that is exactly what happens, guys. So before I blow the rest of these shards, very, very tempting, but I'm trying to save sacred shards for the 2x sacred. So we're done there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next video.